episode of Robin Ori. Today we're going to talk about our research about the Savannah Biome. We had a lot of fun uh, filming this excerpt for you guys. Wait, wait, you, you're packing first. We have a music video, a fun 10 question quiz, and much information about the Savannah Biome. Truly, Ori, would you say it is the greatest biome there is? Uh, yeah, I would, I would definitely agree with that statement. Certainly, certainly. Indubitably. Yes, and uh, Ori, why don't you tell them about the little uh, accident that we had while filming? Uh, well, you know. Certain classmate of ours, uh, I'm not going to name any names, um, you know, I was pushing the fog machine button a little too hard, a little too much, uh, excessive as you, as you will. Um, and um, it caused the uh, fire alarm to trigger off and um, had to evacuate the school. Was she in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so so Tell me what to do, Lucy. Everybody had to evacuate the premises, so uh, it was definitely uh, a historic day in Biden history, if you will. Yes, very chaotic. Fire trucks. Um, really. It was hectic. Very. And we're not going to name any names. No. Not any. Names. This was not my fault. Stop, stop, stop. Right, yeah, stop. Dude, I can't see them. Alright, I apologize. It was definitely Connor. All right. No names. However, Father Corey and school faculty was very understanding with the situation, the whole situation. Certainly. Yeah. You knuckleheads. Yeah, sorry about that, Father. Hey, it happens. He didn't mean it. Don't worry yeah. about it. We thank you once again. Yes. Uh, for your your understandingness and um, you know, your generosity, and um, we will we won't forget it. Yes. We hope you enjoy tonight's presentation. Alright, Ori, well today we're going to be learning about the Savannah. Um, we're going to review everything that's going to be on the test. So, Ori, uh, savannas are usually characterized by the grasslands and scarce uh, vegetation. We have isolated trees, a lot of different types of predators and prey. Um, the soils vary according to bedrock and edaphic conditions. So, as you gentlemen can see, the savannah is located in Africa. Termites are especially abundant in the tropical savannas of the world and their tall termitias are conspicuous elements of the savanna landscape. Furthermore, savannas may be distinguished by according to the domination taxon of the tree layer. For example, palm savannas, pine... Welcome to class. It's time to learn about the savannah so tomorrow you ain't get burned on your test or quiz or whatever it is. I'ma make you a savannah whiz. Yo, first things first, let's talk the weather. It's dry and hot. I've seen better, but the animals make do. Any questions? Yeah, how about you? Is it always hot? Is it always sunny? I got so many questions, it ain't even funny. Tell me about the weather. Does it rain? All this savannah talk, it hurts my brain. There's two seasons, not four. One is dry and one pours. Summer is so rainy and winter is so dry. Better bring some water bottles or you might die. Anything else on your mind? Ask more questions. I got the time. Yo, I'm stuck. I don't understand. What kind of organisms live in this land? Let me tell you about the food chain. There's predators and prey. Boy, this ain't no game. Let's take it from the top. Energy from the sun never ever stops. Producing crops, grasses, and trees. 
Then come the herbivores that eat all of these. Yeah, they like leaves. I'm talking zebras, giraffes, gazelles, and hippopotamus. Monkeys, field mice, insects. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Then comes the carnivores. And guess what they eat? They kill all other animals for their meat. Lions, hyenas, and you got them cheetahs. Regulating population, yeah, you know you need them. Okay. I was confused, but not all smart. The savannah is God's art. The temperature is hot as hell. Need a good grade so mom won't yell. The climate can be dry or wet. And all this info I won't forget. Thanks so much. You are the best. Now tomorrow, I'm going to ace this test. Good morning, Ori. You finally woke up. Sorry I fell asleep. I had the craziest dream. But now I get it. I get what this event is all about. Um, if you want to talk about the weather, then um, I'm the right guy to talk to. I, I know about this stuff. Um, um, the Savannah has uh, mainly two seasons. Mm -hmm. um, and what are those? Uh, it's um, the dry and rainy season. Um, the dry season is in um, the winter time, and the uh, rainy season is um, primarily in the uh, in the summertime. Okay. You know, okay. if you will. Uh, so yeah, those 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 consist of the two seasons in the savanna. All right. So then, if you want to discuss the geography of the savanna, hence where it's located, that sort of thing, the savanna is to be found mostly in Africa, Central Africa, some towards the south, but uh, really, in rare instances, you can find it in Asia, maybe South America. But really, Ori, if you want to head down to the savanna. Check on in to Central Africa. In the heat of the savannah, you have cheetahs, hyenas, lions, elephants, different types of creatures and organisms, plant life, scarce bushes, you know, this sort of swag. One thing our audience is probably wondering is, what effect do humans have on the savannah? Have the humans positively, negatively impacted the savannah? Maybe both? Let's take a look and see. Um, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, humans have impacted the savanna in, uh, in many ways, you know, positive and negative. Um, okay. On, on, on negative, they, uh, you know, some are poaching uh, animals such as um, cheetahs, uh, elephants for their tusk, their ivory tusk. Um, you know, they... Um, also negatively affecting it by um, how much fossil fuels they're using and the uh, cars they use. I see. You know, to post these uh, animals. Because the savanna in Africa in general is very abundant in oil and fossil fuel. Right, correct. Um, right. But That's you could also say on the inverse side that mm -hmm. maybe tourism, other types of attractions in the savanna in Africa have improved maybe the economy. Of Africa, oh yeah, in the definitely, savanna. definitely, definitely, it's definitely helped their their infrastructure. Um, you know, helped them build up um, a lot of money. You know, certainly, certainly for the economy. So it, you know, savanna is definitely a good tour, tourism spot for uh, you know tourists. So uh, yeah, definitely. I'm Robert Doherty, and I'm Ori Ogundade. We hope you enjoyed today's episode of Robin Ori and Saint Viter. Stay classy. <laughs>